All right, please, people are watching, okay? Behave yourself. All right, let's do the rest, okay? Now we gotta work the back end, but that was a good spot for you. Let me tell you why. Because what I felt was those two bones weren't moving, and each bone needs to move a lot. Do you understand? Okay? And when they don't move, they start to calcify. And when they don't glide, because they're meant to glide, because that's the physiology of joints, they're meant to move, and we want good circulation going through there. We don't want to build up a edema or interstitial fluid. We want it to glide and be nice and be loose. And then the muscles that accompany each segment, each motor unit will loosen up and you'll feel so much better. What do you think of that? So that's what we did, okay? I know, very good. You want to just hold hands for a minute or you want to do a little more work? Because we still got to get down to the rear end. You're overwhelmed with emotion and you love your chiropractor. I can't blame you. Anything you want to tell people? Go see Dr. Dye. He's the greatest. He's the best chiropractor in the whole world. I love him. All right, thanks for that testimonial. seven days after her first adjustment and you'll see from the clips what she's walking with she's got a damaged uh, rear left side and um, Deborah the owner is here to give us a little recap so what did you notice this week what was some of the things you saw she's a lot more lively mm -hmm. she seems to be like a younger dog she's energetic she's just running around she's jumping up and down on the sofa and jumping onto the bed and just doing things that she's not done in a long time. When was the last time you saw that? Like her be able to jump up on the bed or God, get up quick and, and sprint? She can't get up. She couldn't get up quick before she got up. She was very stiff and it took her a while to sort of walk it out. Now yeah. she just gets up and she takes off. So that's with one treatment. So we got more stuff to do. And you'll see uh, from the clips that it's not like we strained her leg. We weren't able to do that. But I did work a lot on the hip, the legs, the muscles releasing uh, the pelvis, releasing the lumbars, and we're just gonna do some work, okay? She's definitely better on her back end, more even. Mm -hmm. um, she's not leaning over to the right as much and putting pressure on that side. So, so she's not favoring, she's yes. not compensating like she was. And she um, just seems really happy. Yeah, she looks really happy. Are you ever not happy? Not okay. this happy. And you like your chiropractor? I think so. Do you see how I fish for those compliments? I try to get her to kiss me. All right, so let's just start checking you. Okay, so here's your atlas. And I'm gonna just feel these muscles. So I'm up here at the atlas. And one of the things I feel is the upper left muscle between the skull and the atlas and the wing of the atlas on top is really tight. So I'm gonna take her head up just to get a kiss and then I'm rubbing this muscle it's right here do you see it under the skull mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna bring the head up and start to mobilize sorry baby okay I'm gonna start doing this can I work on you a little bit what do you think all right we're gonna do some work on you thanks for giving me permission but I'm working I'm up here at the pole and that's a horse term but you know what I mean it's up at that atlantal occipital joint and there is still a bad knot here. So I'm gonna see if I can just get a little adjustment out of that. Got it. You can hear that too, you hear that little click? Let's see what happens now. Give her a second to integrate that. Let me go back in. Hmm. So she also has a lot of stuff on the left. She has uh, C2 on the left, so we're gonna do that next. So I'm gonna bring the head over. Got it. That one made a click too. You made two clicks already. 
I'm gonna rub the shoulders. I'm working on the muscles. I think the cervicals are clear now, so I got all the cervicals open. Now there's still one here on the lower right, and I'm at C6. Ooh, you hear that one? Didn't you hear that one? It went. All right. Good. Let's check your jaw too, right? See if you have any TMJ issues. So I'm going to push the jaw rosterally and bring it back. Let me see. Your mouth, open up. All right? Whoa! And adjust in here. Okay, I'm working, please. Try to control yourself because I've got business to do. All right, here, I, I'm on the TMJ. I want to get this spot for you. May I? May I adjust your TMJ? So it's a little lateral on the right. Do you see the hazard I work through? Got it. All right, that was your TMJ. What do you think of that? Let me feel it. Now I'm gonna just traction out the face and give her a little relaxation technique. And take a breath now. Ruby, the big breath in. No, breath, not lick. I didn't say big lick, I said big breath. Okay, there we go, and hold this. Hold, breathe. Oh, everybody watching, just take a breath in. Okay, that's good. Good, so we got your TMJ. As long as we have them, let's check your front feet. Let's get each little finger. What do you think of that? Checking each little joint on you. Oh, it just clicked. Thank you very much, Dr. D. Okay. Stretch that shoulder. Stretch. 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 Good. Let's check this side. Stretch. 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 All right, I'm under the... I'm on your little tricep for a second, is that okay? So there's a muscle back here and I'm just working it because I felt a super tight spot back and behind the upper arm. Let's stretch it now. Much better, look at that, we got that. All right, let me just, got that. All right, now I'm gonna feel the pec muscles next. Don't move. So now I'm in the pec, inside here, and I'm working on the upper end. I know she's a rear end, but we didn't work on the upper, the front end, the front part of you last time. So now here, look at me for a second, up here with the camera. I'm up in here on her upper right pec minor, pectoralis, right in there. And that has a lot to do with stability because the pec also with Quadrupeds helps um, adduct the front limb, pulls it in so it won't splay out. So I'm helping her with her base. And you said her base looked better too, right? Her, yeah. her four point stance? Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm working. I mean, look at this. If you can see, I'm like working these muscles and squeezing them and working them. Now I'm underneath with my fingers. I got really strong fingers and I'm pushing into the pack and coming in and do the whole rib cage. Okay, now I'm gonna go behind here on, on the back of the arm here. And now I'm up in the upper thoracics and I'm squeezing. I'm going under the skin, the floppy skin. I'm not making funny, I'm just saying what's true, okay? And I'm going down into T3, T4, T5. And here's one here at T5, so we're gonna do that, but just keep your head straight for a second. Here we go. May I get this one for you? All right, may I get this one for you? Okay, got it. Ooh, that was a good one. What do you think of that? Yeah. All right. Ooh, that one went right in, lucky you. Coming down, mid-back. Ooh, you got a couple of bad spots. Do you feel this one? I'm gonna rub it for a second. I'm not gonna adjust it yet. And the reason why is the um, muscles along either side 
are very tight. And this could be a little painful to spot. Sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm just working. Do you see what I'm doing though? I'm loosening this up for you. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the kisses because if I don't get kissed, I don't get paid. So I get paid. All right, here's a good spot. I'm gonna go slightly right. Let's count down. T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. T8, slightly right of the spinous. It's really a spinous right, so I'm going to try to adjust the spinous a little bit from right to left. Sorry, babe. I know it's so tender. Should I get it or leave it? I'm going to get it. Ooh, I know that's bad. Sorry, babe, but this is a bad one. I think this one's been out for a while. Got it. All right, that's it. That one's done. Let's follow her. And there's a nice shake. Okay, so the shake is a nice confirmation that I did a good spot. Okay? And I think we did good. I don't think she's upset with me. Okay? All right. Please, people are watching. Okay? Behave yourself. All right, let's do the rest. Okay, now we got to work the back end. But that was a good spot for you. Let me tell you why. Because what I felt was those two bones weren't moving. And each bone needs to move a lot. Do you understand? Okay? And when they don't move, they start to calcify. And when they don't glide, because they're meant to glide, because that's the physiology of joints, they're meant to move, and we want good circulation going through there. We don't want to build up a edema or interstitial fluid. We want it to glide and be nice and be loose. And then the muscles that accompany each segment, each motor unit will loosen up and you'll feel so much better. What do you think of that? So that's what we did, okay? I know, very good. You want to just hold hands for a minute or you want to do a little more work? Because we still got to get down to the rear end. You're overwhelmed with emotion and you love your chiropractor. I can't blame you. Anything you want to tell people? Go see Dr. Dog. He's the greatest. He's the best chiropractor in the whole world. I love him. All right, thanks for that testimonial. All right, so come this way. Bring your hot stuff over here, baby. All right. Ugh, all right. So now we're going to look at your back. It's okay. We're having a little fun, right? So now I'm on the back hip. And we're going to start on the back left. And we're going to kind of take where we left off last time, where we were extending. Now look where my thumb is. So. You can look too, okay? But I'm back here on this horrible trigger point and we're gonna just start working range of motion. Now, the leg likes to come up forward, no problem, but it does not like to be taken back. And that's where she jerks it. So forward, we get some really good range of motion. I'm stretching, I'm stretching, I'm stretching, bringing it through. Nice, nice. Check the feet as long as she's giving them to me. Okay. That's the bad one, right? Okay. Let's just stretch. So I'm stretching and holding. Good. Nice. Well, that's the one that got so damaged. And her poor went to that big swelling on the pole. Right here? Last year. This yeah. thing up here? Never went down on the, the oh, right here. I didn't even yeah, see that. Like that Do you guys see this? Down. It's on the medial side. It's gigantic. So when did that happen? About a year ago. And she went to the vet and she was treated for it, but it never went down. I think it's just from all the pressure. Yeah. She's so you know, the paws are affected by gravity and the weight that we put on it. Just like a horse's hoof is a living thing, and a horse's hoof will grow depending on weight distribution above it. So now, Ruby, I'm talking to you. Ruby, I'm gonna work on this hip a little more. Sorry about being right here. But let's stretch that straight. Let's stretch it, work in this, work in this. 
Okay, I'm gonna have you put your head down for a little bit. I'm gonna bring your leg back. I have to reposition myself. Don't get up yet. Drop your head just for a minute. Good, let's bring that leg back now. There you go. I'm gonna stretch it. There you go, holding it. And let's keep doing it until she gives it to me. Breathe, baby. I'm trying to get her to surrender that leg to me and leave it open and give her a few moments of that leg open because it's been contracted for years, kind of jacked up into her rib cage. And she's giving it to me, it's not easy. Okay, let her move around again. See if she shakes. Come here. That's good, good stuff, right? Good living. Good living. Good living. You're welcome. You are welcome. I appreciate you. All right, so that was the back left. I think we're done with the back left for now. Now we're going to look at the back right. Let's bring this back one. Let's just jump right in. What do you think? And you see it takes some reps. And we're just going to work. It takes a little time to do this dog stuff. But she's had chronic pain and chronic discomfort. Really lameness. She's been lame. That's what we call it. She was on Rimadil from being seven months old. Rim Rimadil? Rimadil for about three years. Yeah, and tell people what that is so they know. Rimadil is an anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. um, drug for the dogs. Yeah. And you have to check their liver every year because it can damage the liver. Yeah. And she was on quite a high dose, and then she changed over to the Chinese herbs, um, but she's always been uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Put your head back down, baby. All right. So now I'm going to do the famous elbow. Watch your face too. That's the spot. Take a breath, babe. Almost done. I'm on a trigger point with my elbow, my right elbow. And now we recheck. Watch, watch the leg come straight now. Watch it. There we go. Good. Just let it go, baby. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. There we go. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. Look at the long leg. Make sure you see her feet and then scan up. And see what we're doing. We're getting length out of this now. One little more, a little more, a little more. All right, good girl. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Checking the hamstrings the glutes, checking everything on you because you're amazing. I love you. Now we're in the pelvis. I'm on the sacrum. Here's another bad point, babe. Can I put this behind my head? Okay, good. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, we're working together, right? We're working together. We're just working out these muscles. Who else is going to get them? I don't know. Okay, got my elbow in it. Okay, working it. Now you're like in Cirque du Soleil, putting your foot behind your head. You see how she puts her foot behind her head? You're like a contortionist. Could you put your cell phone against your ear with that foot? This is good, I'm working. So, I don't know if you could see, but I'm like in here really deep. All 
Okay, come back now. Come back. And I'm gonna check some of the bottom part of the spine now. So I'm at the lumbosacral junction. I'm on L6 here, and I'm looking for a nasty spot. And here it is. Okay, may I get this one for you? Ready? Got it. Okay. 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 L6. I know it's scary, but we did it. Let me get this hip a little bit. Rub it out. Rub out your hip. Then rub out your hip. Mm. Rub out your hip. Rubbing it out. Rubbing out that hip. Rub out the hip. Looks mm. so like a hyperbolt. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, I'm going to do some belly rubs. Yeah. Belly rubbing, belly rubbing, belly rub. Okay. Let's do that leg one more time. Mmm, cracks. Did you just hear a crack? There you go. Give me two and one more time. Good. One more, baby. Come up. There we go. Nice and long. Got it. Got it. Whew. How's that feel? How's it feel to stretch that baby out? Look at that. Look at that. Stretching that gammy out. Stretching that leg out. What do you think? What do you think of that? Her legs don't like going back. So they're like stuck up here with contraction. And yeah, I you can feel this because we could use this. So I just keep trying to stretch this and stretch this and stretch this. And in a way, it's very similar to this you know, famous stretch that you do where you like bring your whole body back. So I'm trying to lengthen here because those hip flexors and the quads have everything to do with running and jumping and moving. So we want to stretch that, at least on her. That's one of her needs. So that's what we did. All right, listen, I think we're finished. I did a lot of stuff in the hips, adjusted a few things. Um, we're just gonna do this for a second just to close out. And um, Ruby, do you have anything to tell everybody? She expects a lot of comments and thumbs ups because she takes that personally if you don't. And um, you're gonna come back, right? You're gonna come back and see me, okay? All right, thanks, bye everyone. Go see Dr. Dog, he's the greatest. He's the best star in the whole world. All right, thanks for that testimonial.